you get to the authorization maintenance by clicking on the first button. Simply enter the technical name of the authorization and click on the change button. Here we can see the authorization relevant characteristics contained in the authorization. The authorization values are displayed by double clicking the relevant characteristic. We now have two tabs. The first tab shows the value authorizations for Profit Center. The second tab shows the hierarchy authorizations displaying hierarchy information such as node, hierarchy name, key date, version, etc. In the user tab, we can assign analysis authorizations to a specific user. We simply enter the username and click on the change button. We again have two tabs. The role-based tab displays analysis authorizations which are assigned via role. We can jump to the role maintenance which is also known as transaction PFCG using this button. The relevant authorization object used for assigning analysis authorizations via role is S underscore RS underscore auth but we can also assign analysis authorizations directly to the user using the first tab, manual or generated. Simply enter the relevant authorization and hit the insert button. If you double click the authorization, you will get to the authorization maintenance shown earlier. We must not forget to click the Save button after assigning the relevant authorizations to the user. Let's have a look at the third tab, Analysis, which provides tools to analyze authorization errors. A simple example should help to get familiar with the tools. We will now execute a query with the authorization mask of a different user. To do this, we will need to click the first button, Execution. Enter the relevant user and activate the option with log. This will record an authorization trace for the query execution. The query execution is done via transaction RSRT. Please check note 1591A37 for a comprehensive documentation of transaction RSRT. Enter the relevant query and hit the execute button. We get an authorization error. The next step would be to display the authorization log and check which authorization values are missing. Simply hit the back button to get to the authorization log. The relevant authorization log gets displayed hitting the display log button. The authorization check is failing due to a missing colon authorization regarding bill to property. Please check note 1234567 for more details on the OLAP authorization log. Now let's go back to the authorization maintenance and add the missing authorization value. Please note that we also get to the authorization log using the authorization log button. Always ensure that the values in both fields, timestamp and restricted user, are correct. We will now add an additional row for built property using the Add button. The missing colon authorization is added in the Value Authorizations tab. We must not forget to save the changes. From BW Release 7.3 on, it's required to activate the authorizations after performing changes.
Let's execute again the query using the same user. The authorization check seems to be successful now, but let's have a short look at the authorization log. 